Okay, so this could be the best or the worst idea that somebody's ever had. Totally. I mean, the two of us yeah. hosting a show together, Studio 5, <sighs> what could go wrong? A night in the town. We have a little bit of everything, right? We have entertainment, music, celebrities. So I went to Miami and I caught up with Pitbull. Oh my goodness. Mr. 305, yes. Mr. Worldwide. He's incredible. He's everything that you would want him to be and more. Yes. Um, I actually got to sit in on Elvis Duran. And off we go. In the I love them. Show, right, Huge fans, listen to them all the time. Yeah. Some of the stories they were telling me were just absolutely crazy. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can't wait to hear them. Also, Juan Smith, fashion designer. Yes. You know I am obsessed with him. It's sick. He has been dressing everyone cool, like superstars. Rihanna, Kim K, Beyonce. Everyone. And he's going to be in our studio tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. We have our girl Megan Wright who's waiting for us. Yes. Yeah, so we can get the party started. Tam, you're looking good, but I heard you were hanging out in Miami with some of my friends. What's going on? Uh, yeah, it's true. Okay, I'm trying to keep this tan because I was <laughs> in the Miami Heat with Pitbull, trying to learn a little bit more about how he went from Mr. 305 to Mr. Worldwide. Yes, and I just want to know what Dale means. Oh, we're going to find out right now. Y'all having a good time out there. Yeah. This is a worldwide exclusive because I have Mr. Worldwide here. Oh boy. Looking a little different than we normally see you. This is dressed down Mr. Worldwide, well, right? It, it goes to show you for one. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that we're able to do this in Miami. So to the whole world, we want to welcome you to the beautiful 305 Day County. That's why we're taking it from the Big Apple to the Pineapple. Who gets to call you Armando? Who gets to call you Pit? And who gets to call you Pitbull? No, no, everybody calls me Armando at the end of the day. <laughs> You got this signature catchphrase, dale. Dale. You gotta teach me how to say it good, though. No, you got it. I think really? you just had it. Yeah, dale. dale. It's yeah. gotta, like, come from within, right? I think, Simone, you're gonna be all right. You're a Miami girl, I heard, right? I'm a Miami girl. You, you got it right on the money, and dale means just do it. Let's get it done. Let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. So talk to me about how long this, all this, has been a dream for you oh, as a young boy in Miami. Man, it, this, is, this has to be at least 16 years in the making. You know, when I used to sit in certain spots of Miami and look at the city and go, one day, you know, that'll be mine. And when I mean mine, I don't mean it in a selfish way. I mean it's all of ours. I couldn't have done this without, you know, Uncle Luke paving the way, a Trick Daddy, a Trina, a Rick Ross, a Flo Rider, everybody from the crib that's been getting it. One time for Khaled, DJ Laz, you know? We all did it collectively. I'm running through the world like a running back. What did you do at this Well, I grew up in, in uh, very interesting times in the 80s in Miami. But more than anything, it's not about where I've lived in Miami. It's where I haven't lived in Miami. <laughs> Meaning we've lived everywhere. And Miami has taught me how to deal with the world, and that means be able to adapt to any environment. How do you want people to feel when they hear your music? Music is a universal language. So therefore, no matter where you're from, what you represent, what you believe in, what your culture may be, I want it to be able to transcend and speak to you and make you feel good, make you escape. <laughs> and you make music in Spanish and English. Which language do you think is more expressive? Music is the language. Music is a universal language. Like a stopwatch, let's stop time and enjoy this moment. Dale. Hey. Dale. Dale. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so much. Dale. Dale. It's gotta, it's gotta come, you gotta say it like you mean it. Dale. <laughs> that was pretty We're bad. No, that was pretty bad. We gotta work on it. <laughs> it's a work of progress. Yes. Well, you know, so happy that we got to uh, hear Pitbull's story. Vibes Cartel. He's a super controversial person. Very controversial. Zachary Keish is telling us about how he's starting this revolution from inside his jail cell. Oh, in case you never know. My style fresh like the rose for the mow. From ceiling to flow, from head to my toe. The girls want to hear vibes. Yeah. You don't play vibes, you know, people in the party would be upset. Right. He was at the top of his yeah. game, you right. know what I mean? Right. So, um, people still want to hear what he had to say. And then he has actual releases, you know? Baby, girl, me love you, me why you believe me, so please never leave me. You're watching Studio 5, off the beaten path. It's a Shop Talk link-up. Come on. Yeah. 
Okay, it's time to dance, you know, so, you know, everybody gets they wind their waist and then the ladies come out and then when the ladies come out, the men come out, you know what I mean? So, it, 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 I love West Indian music because it brings people together. So I'm here to catch up with the fellas, Haiti and two Trinis. Island music. I like the conscious music as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Folk, you know what I mean? That, that's where it started, the reggae music. I think that's where it started with Bob Marley. And um, I like how the music evolved into all these different areas. One of the branches is Dan Tall, and right now, Vibes Cartel is king. He's a controversial figure, a convicted murderer sentenced to life in prison, provocative on the mic, and still making music behind bars. According to some reports, his supporters include some of Jamaica's biggest stars, like Usain Bolt. Those same outlets are talking a new album in 2016. I'm a Vibes Cartel fan. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you told me Vibes is God. But Vibes is God, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you know. How is Vibes still blowing up? He's been in prison for how long, man? I, I think uh, Vibes is still blowing up because musically he's a genius about Mali. And then <clears throat> the Beanie Man feels it. And then his own style, he's perfected all of them together. There are a lot of theories on how Vibes is putting out this new music. Is it on released material? Is he recording in jail? Who knows? In my opinion, uh, part of the reason that Vice Cartel music is still being put out there is because he's sort of like a John Gotti in jail in Jamaica. Right. You know, he's in jail, but he still has access to the outside world. Yeah. We're DJs, you know, we, we, we continue to feed the you know, the people that, that want to hear Vibes Cartel because he's still putting out music. It's not like he went to jail and then just said, well, you know, that's it. Speaking of controversy, did he really bleach his skin? I can't even intelligently give you an answer about that. I see the music, man. You know I mean? Black people, African people, and then you're bleaching your, your skin yeah. to sort of be accepted, to be socially acceptable, to look more like the, the, co the Caucasian. In my opinion, it's sort of distortion of the music. I would love to talk to Vibe and find out, you know, what's up. You know what I mean? Let, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. I just, he might have a skin condition. I just see him as an extremist. Whatever he does, he, he just goes all the way in. jeans and fit it in a white t-shirt, we did it. My favorite song today is always the first song that we play. From reggae to top 40, it's the most popular morning radio show in the country. If you try to phone tap me, you will lose your job. <laughs> My exclusive interview with the Z100 Morning Show crew. Meet the team behind the music and the mic. Then, we're serving up a bit of lover's lust. Cheers to New York. To New York. I am so lucky that I got to sit down with the crew and go behind the scenes to see how they get it done every day. Why is anyone in their right mind awake right now? It's 5.30 in the morning and Elvis Duran is walking into work. How much time do we have? I think we got about 10 minutes. Okay. We'll know when Scary comes running down the hallway. Time for a quick meeting before his show goes live at 6 a.m. What can we do in 10 minutes? Uh, everything. The yeah. guy who woke up while being tickled on the plane. Yes. We had him on the phone. On the phone. Had him on the phone. Then we also have Bethany, her story. She never got in touch with that girl that she owes 275 to. That's it. Ten minutes. And it's earphones on, a quick mic check, and then three, two. And off we go. Yeah. You guys ready for another one? Yeah. yeah. It is uh, Thursday, January 28th. It was only the day before that Elvis Duran and his morning team world premiered Rihanna's first single from her upcoming album, a single that's now number three on iTunes. As soon as somebody has a big release, they come here because they know as soon as they're on our show, they're on the biggest morning radio show in the country as far as Top 40 goes. People show up and their song has been number 10 on iTunes. Yeah. As soon as they leave the studio, 
It's number three or four. But it's not just consummate artists. It's up-and-comers, too. In September, we had Alessia Cara on as a, as a guest that no one had ever heard of, and that was, what, several months ago. Now she has the number one song in the country. With a weekly national audience of five and a half million listeners, Elvis Duran is the most popular and arguably the most powerful morning radio host in the country. A few minutes ago, I was talking to Straight Nate, and he described you as the white gay Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Agreed, that's a good or, thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. It's, I'll be the white gay Oprah. It's a, you do a really good job at making other people the stars of the show. Well, because they are stars. You know, they're, they're great. I work with fantastic people. These are the best days ever in my career and with the people I'm working with, the best. Individually, you know, Danielle, I've, God, I've been working with Danielle for 20 years. Yeah. You know, I watched her grow up. I know her really well. You know, I, she brings the cool mom to the table. This Why? is an apple. Oh, oh my, my God. God! What the hell did they feed? This is a Honeycrisp apple. It's like the <laughs> biggest apple I've ever seen in my entire it looks life. It like, looks it looks like something you carve at Thanksgiving or, or <laughs> Halloween or something. You really do seem like you have a great time here. I do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. just like you, you're entertained just along with the rest of the audience. I am. I I listen back to the show and I go, we are funny. <laughs> Bethany brings this level of intellect, and she's for another planet. Sometimes she says things. I'm like. Really? You do have an extensive vocabulary. <laughs> can you can you teach me a new word? Because I, I need to expand. Yeah, my favorite word, um, and I've said this on the air before, is defenestrate. 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 Which okay. Means, um, which means to throw something out a window. Morning show, what's your comment? One person who I'm sure wouldn't mind defenestrating the phone lines every once in a while is Carla Marie. So we have 19 phone lines that ring at once. And yeah. it's usually myself and either another coworker or one of our interns are answering the phones together. Yeah. How many calls would you say you get in one morning? At the end of the day, I've talked to like 400 people, maybe at least like uh -huh. said hello to 400 people. And it's like, well, who does that by 10 a.m. every day? It's like reverse telemarketing, right? Exactly. They're calling me. The rest of the crew finds themselves on the phone lines a lot, too, for one of the most popular stunts on the show. The Elvis Duran phone tap. We have, like, a success rate of, like, two or three for every 10. Make it on the air. Because uh, so, many, so many of them go wrong. Like, yeah. people don't give us permission, or perhaps maybe they fail, or they know it's our voice. This is Mr. Michael Oppenheimer. Uh, can I interest you in a wonderful TV channel? He's not a soothing voice, but he's a relentless telephone telemarketer yeah. who reads from the same script over and over again. This is Mr. Michael Oppenheimer with the Sonic Clean Between Machine. Women he's dated asked him to whisper that in their ears oh, while, they were, while they were making yes. out. Do the Oppenheimer. Elvis, has anybody ever tried to phone tap you? Yeah, a long time ago. And uh, I made a rule right then and there, and I know it may sound very unfair, if you try to phone tap me, you will lose your job. This is Scary Jones from Elvis Duran in the Morning Show. You've been phone tapped. <laughs> After four hours, it's now 10 o'clock. The show is over, and it's time to meet about the next day. Now you guys have, like, the fastest four-hour morning show I've, I've ever seen, by the way. Some days are faster yeah. than other, others, but <laughs> no, we, we had such a good time today, and we every day, typically, is it's a yeah. good day here. Next, we're in the spin room with DJ Megan Rice. And then, meet Laquan Smith. It's sick. Beyonce, Kim K, he's dressed them all. Plus, how he's getting ready for Fashion Week. It's another Studio 5 exclusive. It is New York City here at Studio 5. We have Megan getting things started for us. What's up, Megan? I love your DJ booth. It's so futuristic. Um, it's amazing. Big shout out to my friend DJ Shortcuts. And of course, Anthony over at Sound Active Events. Like, he made this. He designed this. So that cool. Is so what's going on? Give me some details, man. So right now, what we got is our custom facade. This is actually a DJ facade with the lights built in. We also do the custom staging. We do a lot of private events, too. So we do a lot of custom setups for people, depending on their wants and needs. So basically, this doesn't have to just be for Fox 5. Exactly. If people want right. this, they can come to you. Absolutely. If you're sweating or yeah. set up, you can get it too. <laughs> all right, so you see how all this comes together. Next, we're going to show you how we get ready. We are going in the showroom with a designer to the stars, Mr. Laquan Smith. Hi, this is Laquan Smith, and welcome to my world. Woo! <laughs> I'm a visionary, and I'm someone who likes to consider myself 
being ahead of time. So I like to more so set the trends than actually following the trends. If it gets a little bit warm outside, the great thing is that you can What's happening? What is happening? unzip the sleeve. What? And then she it's becomes happening. literally a vest. And it's oh. just like, that's it. <gasps> I mean, I grew up with a household filled with women. You know, yeah. my aunts and my mom and my grandmother and some of my girlfriends. Like, I feel like I understand the sensuality aspect of what women want to feel like and how they want to be dressed. Come through! You look amazing, Simone. Thank you, oh, boo. <laughs> I can't breathe, but I feel great. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it looks so no, beautiful on you. I love the shape. It's sick. So basically what we're looking at is a, um, a few sketches from fall 2016. And you sketched these all yourself? Yes, I did. And then it's also made right here in New York, right? Right here in this building, Long Island City, Queens, New York. When you want to get something on the Kardashians or the Jenner girls, how do you go about doing that? I think it's been um, about building relationships with their stylists, yeah. you know, and if it takes me to send a few dresses and say, hey, let me know your thoughts on this, or sending them a few sketches to just build that relationship. This is an inspiration from Riri because I love that it's so simplistic, but it's yes. also so glamorous at the same yes. time. it made such a splash on it, that. It really perfect. did. I'm, I'm into this whole transparency concept. Yeah. This, like, kind of power meshy. Like, what's really dope is that, like, if you put your hand on it, it's almost kind of like the second skin type of concept. And we have Mr. Laquan Smith in the studio. <laughs> Woo! Thank you for thank having you me. Thank you for gracing us and thank you for dressing us in your beautiful designs. Uh, this is the lowest cut dress that I have. I would only <laughs> trust no, that with absolutely. you. Absolutely. You guys look absolutely amazing. I love how you look. Thank you for wearing it. Thank you for designing us. Yeah. You are right in the middle of Fashion Week preparations. You've got a new collection coming out in just a couple of weeks. And you're doing something really innovative, right? Where you can kind of buy it when you see it? Definitely. You know, for uh, fall 2016 collection that we're debuting literally in like less than two weeks, um, I've partnered up with a digital sponsor, Big Commerce. So we're doing things a little bit more on the technology side um, where you can actually shop the looks right then and there as you so see fresh. the collection. So I'm really, really excited. This is the year of the rebirth of Laquan Smith, you know? 2016, so we're, yeah, baby. It's, it's, it's fresh. It's new. I'm very excited for all all of the amazing collaborations that we've partnered up with this year, so it's gonna be hot. Laquan, you have yeah. dressed so many style icons. Yes. Is there one person that you would just love to dress? Hmm. <laughs> I've dressed so many women across the board. Um, Beyonce. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, between dressing Rihanna, Beyonce, Kim K, you know, I've dressed them all. I just really, um, I love dressing women. That's just kind of like my power. That, that's what I love. But there love has to be one, one that has eluded you. Uh, Let's say this, I still want to dress Michelle Obama. I was just oh, going to say yes. Michelle Sorry. Obama, yes. I just yes. really yes. still want to do that. First yeah. lady style, absolutely. absolutely killer. Absolutely. Coming up, dressing up, the perfect cocktail. It's the weekend and we just want to have fun. Cashing in on those lucrative... Welcome back, guys. Jen and I thought it might be fun to get a little change of scenery. Yes, take the show on the road. Exactly. So we are now in the heart of the theater district with the beautiful Kristen Seleni, owner and executive chef here at Boca de Baco. She's got some pretty little things she's going to show us how yes, to make today. Yes, right? Just in time for Valentine's Day. It doesn't matter if you're single or if you're with someone, whatever. We have some delicious cocktails, Cocktails right? always soothe the heart. Yes. <laughs> and we have some delicious ones today. You know, I don't like anything too fruity, so I hope you guys are going to like this. I did more of a tequila base, um, and then I had some fresh blackberries. Yum. That's healthy. Yes, healthy. It's and basil. You know. It is, right? Of course, we want to keep our skin glowing, so. <laughs> Antioxidants <laughs> mixed in with Anything tequila. Anything we can get yep. makes us feel better. Just fresh lime juice. Again, fresh. Yes, fresh. fresh. Yes. All about fresh. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the main ingredient, Mr. Tequila. <laughs> And then some uh, agave nectar just to sweeten it up. I, I know that's a healthy word. It right? is. I mean, you can basically buy all these things at the health food store. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful color. Beautiful. Jen, I believe you're wearing that color. Yeah, it, it really is. You. See, this really is a cocktail dress. Do <laughs> 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 you think there's more pressure for the man or for the woman on Valentine's Day? I think the man. Day? The man. It's always, you know, to get what's a your boyfriend doing or what's exactly. your husband doing? 
moved here, um, it, that's the first thing that I noticed was the pace of life is just so yes. non-stop. Yeah, there are a lot of things to do, but I mean, it, it's it's distra it can be distracting sometimes. You always have to stay focused on what you want to do. Yeah, and there's so just so many options. Like so many options. Mm -hmm, when yeah. I first, I moved from California. I grew up in California. Same here. Yeah. Yeah. I moved from LA. Okay. I grew up in like Bay Area. Oh, cool. So when I moved, I'm sure you experienced that too. Yes. Like walking out your door, it was like, where do I go? I got right. lost so many times. I can't even tell you. Being a chef, do you have a big kitchen where you live? I have to say, I'm I'm pretty lucky. I have a really no. decent sized kitchen in she my apartment. I have, have kind island. of like she yeah. has an island. You guys will come island. over and check it out. <laughs> cheers! I mean, yes, cheers. this is how I'll spend my Super Bowl weekend. Oh, definitely. It, yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. It was so much fun. You've given us our daily dose of antioxidants. <laughs> We're ready to hit the town now. Where are we headed? Downtown, uptown? Maybe I say you do a Bocati Baco bar crawl. There we go. There we there go. You go. Say that <laughs> three times fast. I can't. If we're going to get to it, though, we better get to it now. So. Yes. I'm going to call the Uber. We'll see you guys out of the town. She was my favorite stripper. So, Kristen, being a chef, do you... Bigger. Hi, this is Laquan Smith, and...